Now, if you notice, our message has ended up over here on the left. So let's move that back over to the content area. So instead of actually echoing the uh, success or error handling right here, we could do this a couple of ways. We could change the name of result and move this if, if statement down here into column number two because this doesn't actually need to be R all the time but for consistency we continue to use R but if we put it down here without changing the name of it well R is going to be a totally different thing because we're redefining R right here on 75 so we don't want to do it that way what we can also do is go ahead and just save a variable so let's try that so instead of echo let's make a variable called message so message equals page was added now we can come down here and replace echo with message um, but now we have two lines and what we could do is just go ahead and add this up here to the string do some more concatenating or I can show you another um, thing you can do in PHP here which is add to a string so now let's do message and we can concatenate this way we do dot equals and what that will do is pretty much take what we've added here and tack it on to the end of this so now what we need to do is display this message somewhere so let's come down here to where we had the uh, query previously do some PHP tags and if you noticed our, our error handling earlier um, if you remember the uh, warning we got earlier about the undefined index we need to go ahead and do an if statement here we could just go ahead and echo out message uh, without it but we're gonna get that error whenever a message doesn't exist so when nothing's been sent to the form we're gonna get an error or a warning so let's do if is set message then let's just go ahead and do this on one line to keep it clean echo message and then we can actually bump this up to one line save that and let's go ahead and test it let's go ahead and reload the page and again I say reload not refresh because it's going to ask to send the form again so let's go ahead and send it some more sample information here test three test three and test three testing the body three save there there's our message here now let's take a look at some some of our error handling again here because we're gonna have some issues um, one is gonna be worrying about some of the characters that we actually cannot have in here like uh, an apostrophe or a single quote so if we did something like for the title Allen's page we're gonna have issues so we'll go ahead and try and save this there you go so here's the message we get now and this is one of those uh, more vague messages I was talking about it says I have an error in my SQL syntax and it says to look in the manual for MySQL uh, for the uh, correct syntax to use right around here which uh, that's pretty vague and that's why we echoed out a copy of the query so we can kind of take a look at this and examine what's going on and here you see our uh, apostrophe or single quote and you can see uh, if you look at it pretty close here's what's happening 
the single quote is actually breaking the string. It doesn't like that. Same would go for a uh, double quote. So we actually need to run a function to correct that. So what we're going to use is the MySQLI real escape string function. And this is going to escape those characters. Which escaping is, uh, if we were going to do it by hand, you would place a backslash before the characters that you need to tell MySQL, take these, um, literally don't use these as the end of my string. So what we need to do is escape pretty much every one of these before they get put into the database, or into our query, that is. So above our query, let's come up here and let's create some variables. We'll do, we'll just do them in the order that we've presented them here. So title equals mysql i underscore real underscore escape underscore string. And this takes two parameters, the database connection, dbc, and the string we're going to escape which in this case is going to be underscore post and title. Let's go ahead and close that. And just to speed things up, let's go ahead and copy and paste this a couple times. So we're going to do four because we're going to do this to each one of these. So let's just go ahead and change the name of the variable label and then the key in the post array and we'll just do this to the rest of them so header header body and body now if we tried to run this right now it's still going to have an issue because we actually need to change the values that are being submitted here so we need to change this to title, label, header, and body, because we want the escaped version of it, which is stored in each one of these variables up here. So let's save that, and let's go ahead and give that a whirl. So we'll reload the page. Alan's page. And save that. There you go. We got added in there. Looks good.